So this is it. This is the journey that I'm taking you on. It's a site and a brand that I've been thinking up for a few years now. It's one that I've been wanting to launch like more than ever, but I just haven't had time to do it. But I'm going to do it right now. The name of the brand, as you can see, is Hello Loyal. Hello Loyal is a creator economy lifestyle brand that's focused on content creators from every platform and the creator economy at large. So this brand right here, as you can see, already has many articles already on it. It has zero visitors right now. Literally zero traffic is to this site. But as you can see, I already have it already structured and everything because I knew this would be the perfect opportunity to take you on the journey. Now, I wanted to take you on a journey, of course, because nobody done this for me and entrepreneurs and business people just don't do this. Nobody takes their students on a journey where a student can follow the process and follow their lead and go through step by step. Nobody really does that. Usually people just show you the end result, but you are about to watch me take Hello Loyal from scratch to millions of monthly page views every single month. And my goal is to grow it into a six figure income in six to eight months max but really i think it's going to be six months just because i'm going to go hard and if you follow along you can go hard as well as you can see once again there's nice articles right here most of the articles is written by my wife now this many articles i think it's like 30 plus have cost me a nice chunk of change. You know, even though my wife wrote these articles, that doesn't mean I didn't pay her. You know, I pay her hundreds of dollars per batch of articles, but the beautiful thing about this journey with Pinterest, you do not, and I repeat, you do not have to have more than 10 articles to make a, even a six-figure income. That's the beautiful thing about it. But I want to grow this into a major, major, major brand that's known all around the world that will eventually grow to an eight-figure income, which is $10 million or more per year. But I'm sure if you are somebody who's working a job, you're not worried about an eight-figure income. You're just worried about getting to that $100,000 a year mark, most likely, so you can leave your job in the dust. And of course, the sky is truly the limit, but I'm sure that's your first goal. So I have massive plans with Hello Loyal, so that's the great thing about it. You get to watch me from scratch, go on this journey, and take a brand that I love very much, even though it's not anything right now, but I just love the brand um, overall, but you get to watch me take this brand from zero to, like I said, millions of monthly page views using Pinterest and eventually millions of dollars in revenue. And I'm going to show you exactly how that's done. But it's a very nice looking clean blog, helloloyal.com. It got many stories on here, many articles. And overall, it's just a brand that I'm going to really scale with Pinterest. So I wanted to show you exactly what I'm going to be working on. And I'm going to take you once again by the hand and you're going to see exactly how I do everything. And just overall, it's just going to be crazy. It's going to be a crazy journey. I'm super excited about it. 2023 was the year that I planned on launching Hello Loyal, but I, I didn't even think about it when I was um, when I was thinking up, you know, launching a new Pinterest masterclass. I didn't even think about just taking you guys on a journey. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And Hello Loyal is going to be the brand, but you're going to see exactly everything that I do with this brand step by step so that you can create your brand as well and scale it with Pinterest and sit back, relax while money pours in while you sleep. So Hello Loyal is going to be a brand that you will remember. And as long as you follow along the way, you can leave the very same mark in this world with your brand as well. So like I stated, you want to log into your existing Pinterest account or create a brand new Pinterest account if you don't have one yet. As you can see right now, Hello Loyal Pinterest account has one monthly viewer, and that's most likely me and zero following. I have literally, it's empty. It's a ghost town right now. But once you have your niche, and of course you have to come up with a name for that niche, like whatever the name of your brand is going to be, mine is once again, Hello Loyal. If you follow PLR Hustle, you know that brand name is PLR Hustle. Or you can simply say, I want to build my personal brand. So if you want to build your personal brand and it be your first and last name, you can do that as well. But this right here is considered a business brand, which is Hello Loyal, just like PLR Hustle. If you know about my brand, PLR Hustle, it's also a business brand. So the beautiful thing about this is you can do it either way. You can focus on personal brand or business brand. 
But after you already have your niche or your family of topics, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and start snooping around on Pinterest and seeing what kind of content is doing the best. So one of the things that I'm focused on with Hello Loyal is teaching content creators how to level up. One of those ways is through blogging because that's exactly why I'm teaching you how to blog within Scale with Pinterest and how to create a blog because blogging is literally the most passive way that you, you can earn online. The most passive income is earned through blogging online. Of course, stuff like YouTube, but guess what? You don't own your YouTube channel. Google does. They can hit delete and bam, your YouTube channel is gone. Whenever you build a blog, the sky is truly the limit once you start putting out content within a niche. So that's exactly what Scale with Pinterest is all about. And that's exactly why on Hello Loyal, I'm talking about bloggers to help content creators you know, with blogging, help and show them how to create a blog and just everything has to do with blogging and making money online, like as a whole. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to snoop around and see what kind of blogging content is doing the best. So this is exactly what you want to do. Once again, after you have your niche and the name of your brand picked out, you want to go ahead and log into Pinterest and start snooping around to get content ideas. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All pins blogging so let's see let's look around how to start a blog let me see blogging in 2022 start a blog with no experience i've heard of this site right here talkbits.com let's check it out look at this can you believe this already Forty-one thousand shares on this one post right here so of course once again this is within my niche i'm snooping around so forty-one thousand shares i already know this right here is going to be a very good post. See, what this person right here is doing is they just changing the year because it says in 2022, but what they done is they went and updated the blog title, which is extremely smart, to 2023. So that's the beautiful thing about that. See, it was posted December 2018. It was last updated. So they updated it and changed the year and the title. So th this is a really smart thing, and this this blog right here does millions, I'm sure, of monthly page views. If you ever want to know how much traffic a site is getting, just go to SimilarWeb. Go to SimilarWeb.com and hit that right there. It's, uh, type in the name of the site that you found on Pinterest. Click search. Let's see how much traffic they're getting. I believe it's a guy that run this site right here. Okay, he's getting a lot of traffic. He has a global rank. Remember, there's hundreds of millions of websites in the world. He ranked 561,000. So if we scroll down here and we look around, August, he got 73,000 visitors. September, 84,000 visitors. October, 102,000 monthly visits. Total visits right here, 102,000.8. 102.8 thousand visitors. This is mind boggling because he's up 21% with traffic. So let's keep on scrolling down and we can see the demographics of this blog right here. This is exactly what you want to do. You want to dig deep on your competitors or similar related content. Let's go on down. Let's go on down. You can see similar websites as well. Let's go on down. Okay, we got 18% from social. We got 59% from Google search SEO. And that's the beautiful thing about Pinterest. Once you got so many pins connecting to your blog content and people repin that blog content, Google will automatically detect that and see that you have a lot of backlinks via Pinterest and they will start ranking your blog content in the search engines like crazy. So not only will you have Pinterest traffic, but you will also in the background start getting Google SEO traffic. But as we can see, 18% of this traffic come from social. Let's scroll on down and see what social platform that may be. There we go, Pinterest. 82.80% <laughs> comes from Pinterest. Then you got little Twitter, little YouTube, and little Quora right here. So as you can see, just with this one deep dive into a competitor of mine, talkbits.com is getting 80 plus percent of their traffic, their social traffic, from the one and only Pinterest. So if you want to, of course, see your competitors and your similar sites, because it's not really a competitor, because right now, Hello Loyal can't even dream about competing with a site that's ranked 500,000 on Earth. 
So at the at the end of the day, I just what I like to do is I like to see what content is already working. So I already see this content structure and title right here works. People want to know how to start a blog in whatever year that they, you know, whatever year it may be. So this is, you know, 2023 is about to begin. So 2023 is coming up. They want to know how to start a blog in 2023. Those that has he have heard about blogging, but they don't have a blog. So what I want to do now is I want to click on another pin. Let me see. Blog. Let me see. Blog enthusiast. So this is blogenthusiast.com. Let me look around this. They got 55,000 shares right here. How to monetize your blog before you even launch. 55,000 shares. 29 of those shares is Facebook. One is, pin, um, one is Twitter. 55,000 shares is from Pinterest. Can anybody comprehend with something like this? Almost 100%, basically 100% of the shares on this post right here is from the one and only Pinterest. And uh, as you can see, this woman right here is the owner of it. So let's dig into her blog a little bit and let's go to SimilarWeb. This is how I do things. I dig deep into exactly what space I'm going into and the kind of content that I'm about to put out. She's ranked 8 million, so she's not getting as much traffic, but her traffic, as we can see, is exploding. So because she her traffic is brand new, they basically can't track hers because her traffic stats haven't updated yet. So as you can see, she got 55,000. Let's exit out of this one. She got 55,000 shares on one post. So obviously this is a brand new blog that she's created and her stats hasn't been detected yet from similar web. But once though, you know, they detect those 55,000 shares, she'll probably end up ranking, let's say two or 3 million. And it'll also start dropping into the hundreds of thousands because she's crushing it on Pinterest. Let's do one more within my niche real quick. How to start a blog in 2023. Here go another person. So as we can see, this is a very, very hot topic right here. Let's see what their overall blog ranks. 386,000 in the world. So they are getting even more traffic than the first blog that we checked out. Scroll down, 115,000 visitors in August, September's 83,000, October 149.7,000 visitors, which is monstrous. It's crazy. So as you can see, you can see the demographics right there and all of that. Let's scroll down. I'm curious to see where most of their social traffic is coming from. As you can see, they're, they're getting very little traffic from social, only 0.48%, and most of it comes from Google search. So as you can see, most people, they're either going with Pinterest or Google search engines, one or the other, is sending most of their traffic to their blog. Let's scroll down and let's check the social traffic anyways. 100% Pinterest. Even though it's 0.48%, it's still 100% Pinterest. He's not worried about anything else. You want to know why? Because he knows this is the site that's going to see your blog or your site overall the most traffic most likely. This is just crazy when you start digging deep into these sites. And what's so crazy is it's not just Pinterest where you can discover this. Even if you find sites like people like tweet insights a lot of time or on Facebook, you'll see that Pinterest is still sending a majority of their traffic. And that's what a lot of people don't even understand. Just because it's been shared on Facebook doesn't mean that Facebook is sending them the most traffic. It's really crazy once you start digging deep. So let me go into something. Let me think about something that I can do um, at random. Let's type in keto. I always like to talk about the keto diet because it's also a very popular things to talk about. So let's say your niche is about losing weight and you want to talk about the keto diet. So this right here is 27 easy keto meals for beginners. Let's check out this blog. Let's do some deep diving. As you can see, I'm not even logged in or even signed up with similar webs. They just give me this free data and they'll give you the same, of course, if you just check it out. I just want to see the visitors. Monstrous. 164,000 global rank and in the country rank is 33,006, which is crazy. Let's scroll down 475,000 visits in August, 396,000 in September, 401,000 in October. This is a blog right here that 
let me see if I could take a guess. If I could take a guess, this blog is probably making $50,000 a month. And that's just a random guess. And that's off of probably two streams of income. Probably anywhere from, yeah, thirty-five dollars to $50,000 a month with this amount of traffic, which is unbelievable. It's crazy. Let's scroll down. I bet it's from one or the other or, either, or, or both of them. It's either SEO, Pinterest, or SEO and Pinterest. Let's check it out. Let's scroll down. Let's scroll down. Okay, there we go. Social, 16%. Search, which is Google SEO, 69%. So a majority of the traffic is coming from social and search, as we can see. Let's scroll down. Let's see where that social is coming from. 97.56% <laughs> Pinterest. If you don't see what's going on right now, I don't think you'll ever be able to see anything. Because a majority of all of this traffic and these millions of dollars that they're making over, you know, over, let's say, three to four year period, it's all coming from Pinterest on the social side of things. Whole lot of yum is the name of the site. And like I said, I estimate that they're making, let's say $50,000 a month, which is about what, $600,000 a year and $1.2 million in two years. Let's even just say they're only making $30,000 a month. With that much traffic, I guarantee they're making much more than 30. But $30,000 a month times 12 is $360,000 a year, if you do that three years, that's one million eighty thousand dollars that they're making every three years. But I guarantee it's much more than that. So Pinterest, of course, is sending them most of that traffic when it comes to the social side of things. And remember, Pinterest and SEO go hand in hand. So whenever that Pinterest, whenever you get so many pins and repins, Google is going to detect that and start sending you crazy amounts of searching and traffic as well. So that's what you want to do. You want to do your keyword research. And once you start checking out your competitors using similar web to dig deep within your, you know, like on your competitors to so start digging really deep with every competitor or every similar site that you can find or come across. Once you start doing that keyword research and digging deep, you will see exactly what kind of content is going is working the best. So I could go in here for days and days and days and I can check on every niche topic what content is doing the best. So it doesn't matter what niche you can think of. You can type in woodworking right here. You can type in woodwork and you can check out this niche. You can type in crypto and check out the crypto niche. It does not matter what niche you research. You will be able to do a deep dive to see exactly what's working. So keyword research is extremely important. And all you need to do is go to Pinterest, type in your main keyword, check out some of the sites using SimilarWeb, analyze them, go ahead and write down similar blog titles so you can start getting content ideas on what's working already so that can give you ideas as well. You can't be successful without the keyword research. I'm telling you right now, it's really crazy. So let's type in keto diet one more time. So whenever you are structuring your, see, as you can see, keto diet for beginners and everything. Let's just click on that. They're automatically generating the, the main um, things to search for for us. So whenever you do this, you want to expand it a little bit. Whenever you expand it, see, these people are showing up because they are putting these, these um, the main keyword in the title and also most likely the description. So I typed in keto diet for beginners. So as you can see, keto diet is right there. And if you click on more right here, look, look what they're doing. Keto diet, keto diet, diet, keto diet for beginners, keto diet plan, keto diet recipe. This is called Pinterest SEO. So you want to do this as well. You want to make sure you put the main keyword in the title of the pin and also in the description whenever you're describing the pin. Once again, this is called Pinterest SEO. Now, if you go to Google and type in keto diet, whatever sites is ranking organically right here, the organic ranking, remember, they don't have ad beside it. This is paid or this is paid search. 
This is organic search. These are the ones that's going to be here, and they're not paying a dime. They're not paying 50 cents to be here, but they're organically ranking right here. Healthline.com, of course, is a big authority site. So your chances of outranking them in the search engines, you'd have to spend $20 million to, to um, outrank a, a big authority site like Healthline.com. So you will never, ever outrank them for the term keto diet. But at the end of the day, as you can see how organic Google works, so you can aim for, let's say, more long tail keywords, maybe keto diet for beginners or keto diet for beginners in 2023 is something more long term. But just little short keywords like keto diet, you'll most likely never outrank the sites that's on page one of Google. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to just show you how Google SEO works because you got Pinterest SEO by typing in keywords and, and your pin showing up on Pinterest. And you also got Google SEO. So the two goes hand in hand like crazy. So whenever you are putting your, your pins up, you definitely want to include the main keyword in the title and also when you describe the pin. Now, I personally wouldn't recommend spamming the pin with, with a bunch of keywords like they done here because I personally don't do that. And it's always worked out well for me. But, uh, you know, I recommend mentioning the keyword multiple times once you describe an opinion. So remember, you put it in the title and you put it in the description when you describe an opinion. And whenever people type in keto diet for beginners or type in your keyword or my keyword like blogging or creator economy, whatever it may be, whenever they type that stuff in, you're going to be showing up and outranking other people because a lot of people don't understand how Pinterest SEO works. And all you got to do is consistently in every one of your pins, mention the main keyword in the title and the description. And once Pinterest see you doing that with 20, 30 different pins, they're gonna say, okay, I see what this Pinterest account is about. So let's go ahead and push their, their pins up to the top on the, you know, on the first page or the first scroll. See, that's the second scroll. On the first page or first scroll of the Pinterest search results, let's go ahead and push them up to the top so they can start, of course, getting Pinterest traffic because they are really serious about this topic. So that's how you do keyword research and focus on Pinterest SEO. It's all about the keywords. Include those keywords. And once you do that, that's when the magic begins to happen.